Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, bringing you the news happening in the world right now. Starting off this Wednesday, let's talk about Apple. Today, Apple is marking a milestone in the music sales as their iTunes Music Store sells its 25 billionth song. The iTunes Music Store first opened in 2003 and is now home to over 26 million songs, available in over 119 countries around the world, and averaging a staggering 15,000 song downloads per minute. For the lucky iTunes customer in Germany who downloaded the 25 billionth song, he will receive a 10,000 euro iTunes gift card, which I would assume is a pretty sweet deal. And in more Apple related news, it looks like Siri may be soon making an appearance on a Mac near you. Apple has unveiled a job posting that calls for a Siri UI engineer, mentioning that the applicants should be familiar with Unix, especially on Mac OS X. It really shouldn't come as a surprise that Apple is trying to port its popular voice recognition software to the desktop line of computers. There are many times when I wish Siri was built into my computer as it is. From computers to games, and more specifically, Monopoly. Well, the quest is over, the ballots are in, and they've all been tallied up. The loser in the recent Monopoly poll to kill off one of the famous players well, it was the iron. Yes, the iron will be no more. It will be replaced by the internet favorite, a cat. Considering people on the internet were actually able to vote for this, it's not surprising that the cat won. This place is full of crazy cat people. So the race car, Scotty Dog, Top Hat, Thimble, and Battleship will all continue to pass go, but they will now be joined by a cat. I wonder how the dog's gonna feel about this. Continuing to talk about gaming here, some news about the next generation Xbox came out today, and though it may be surprising, it does fall right within the mindset of Microsoft. According to Edge Online, Microsoft's next console will require an always-on internet connection in order to function. This always-on connection will be a key feature in the new box, allowing it to constantly check if your games are legal and ensure that you're connected to Microsoft's online content. All new Xbox games will be manufactured on 50 gig capacity Blu-ray discs and will come with an activation key like PC games. This key though can only be used once by a user. Once the key is activated by you on your system, it can't be used again, making the resale value of games non-existent. So if you're a person who enjoys buying used games, the next Xbox won't be your friend. Though it's still surprising that Microsoft will still be shipping physical discs for games, we can all only imagine that there will be an even bigger push to buy games on the Xbox Live Store and have them downloaded and streamed to your device. The next gen Xbox is also expected to ship with Kinect 2.0, the next version of the successful 3D motion capture system. This new system will allow more precise tracking of objects and better gameplay in the end. So when can we all expect to see this next generation gaming system? Well, no one knows. It's assumed that Microsoft will show it off at E3 this year, but that's merely an assumption. One thing I know for sure is that the next holiday season will be huge for consoles. Both Microsoft and Sony are expected to release next-gen hardware this year. And on to more gaming news! Okay, actually, it's less gaming news and more like TV slash other media, but still interesting nonetheless. Let's face it, the company making the game Angry Birds is basically running out of ideas. They've done, like, everything. They've made tons of games, a large amount of merchandise, and other random junk to do with their brand. But what could possibly be next? Well, how about a cartoon show? Yes, I'm sorry to say, but it looks like Angry Birds cartoons could be making its way to a TV or other media device in the near future though the exact time and device is still up in the air. The creators of the game know that they want to create a cartoon, but are unsure about the delivery method to use for it. Unlike traditional cartoons, which are obviously delivered to your TV, Angry Birds may be delivered right to the device that you play Angry Birds on. The creators of Angry Birds have stated that they've already actually built a distribution method that people already know for the cartoons. It's just time for them to implement it and then obviously charge people to use it. So if you'd love to get some more Angry Birds into your life, then this will soon be a thing for you. And last, because it's way too cool to pass by this news, if we ever head back to the moon and decide to create a base there, it may be easier than originally thought to create a habitat on the moon. Thanks to the incredibly intelligent people over at the European Space Agency, the future moon base may not be built here on Earth, instead printed on the moon. Yes, this is taking 3D printing to a whole new world. Get it, world? Okay, anyway, moving on. Printing a building out of layers of moon lunar soil itself could be considerably easier and cheaper than bringing an entire structure from Earth. 
And hey, we've already invented the printer, so why not? If you remember back to the story about the group working on a 3D printed house, this is basically the same principle, but instead it's on the moon. And the machine will use lunar soil, which surprise, surprise, there's a ton of on the moon, to actually create the habitat for humans to live in. So just think, in the not too distant future, we may send a robot to the moon that will then set up shop and build us a moon base. Then when completed, we just need to fly there and take up residence. It's freaking cool. God, I love the future. Okay, jumping back to the story with the new Xbox, how do you feel if you could only buy new games and couldn't sell your old ones due to the activation? Tell me in the comment section below, of course, or you can let me know on my Facebook page, through Twitter, or on Google+. Links to all that and the other articles I talked about in today's episode in the description below, along with the always amazing subscribe button. So until next time, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. Hey everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can of course check out more videos that I create by clicking on them below. Check out now for the latest news happening in the world right now, Paradise Gaming for some fun gameplay videos, or of course my vlog channel to see what I'm like outside of my studio, if you want to know about that. Also, if you're interested in supporting the show and getting some new clothes like this shirt for yourself, you can check out the store at thecurtisparitystore.ca. See you guys next time.